Hello everyone, it's Mariners Fanatic, and today I will be talking about my top five favorite baseball movies of all time. And this is a little bit of a break from the normal Seattle Mariners videos. However, I wanted to make this video over the off season um, as there's not baseball news happening each and every day. We're not playing games right now. So I thought this was the perfect time to put out this video while there's a little bit of downtime in the off season. So if you guys want to check out these movies during the off season or when you have your free time or whatever, I encourage you to do it. All of these movies are really good in my opinion. Also, this is my top five favorite list. So some of these movies you guys probably wouldn't even have in your top five, but there's reasons for them being in my top five and I'll explain that as I go along. Uh, but this is my list, and I'd encourage you guys to put your list down in the comments below. would love to interact with you guys. So I'm going to go from 5 to 1. Before I get to the top movie on my list, I'll give a few honorable mentions. So the first movie I'm going to talk about is Generations of Heroes. Now, this is a MLB.com produced movie, and it was kind of like a home video kind of deal. It was on VHS. And it was released in 1999. I loved this movie. My brother and I would watch it a couple times this summer. Basically, basically, this movie covers a lot of baseball history. This movie is one of the reasons why I got so excited about baseball as a, as a kid and interested in stats and history, kind of loving the game of baseball beyond just playing it. Um, they compare players like Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, to current players at that time like Ken Griffey Jr. You know, there's so many good players in that 90s era, even though it, you know, it is the steroid era. Um, at that time, obviously, that wasn't known as this movie was released in 2000. You know, they've got players like Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa in the video and talking about the home run chase. Barry Bonds is in there. You know, they've got Roger Clemens in there as well. You know, but they also talk about Nolan Ryan, and like I mentioned, they talk about Hank Aaron, they talk about Babe Ruth, they talk about legends from the past and comparing them to the, the current players at that time. You know, they also talk about players who are potentially Hall of Famers, like Scott Rowland is in the video, Mike Schmidt, he's already in the Hall, but Mike Schmidt's in the video, they compare those two guys. There's just a lot of fun interviews, highlights, history. And this is this was just a great film that I watched. You know, it's not going to win you any awards at the Academy Awards because uh, it's produced by MLB, but it's a good movie and it's fun to watch, fun to see the history. I would recommend checking this one out. You're gonna have a hard time watching it if you don't have a VHS system or some way of finding it online. Um, I searched for a while in preparing for this video, and it was pretty tough to find, but. If you can find it and watch it, I would encourage you to do so. Moving on to my next movie, I'm going to be talking about Eight Men Out. Now, this is a 1988 film talking about the Chicago White Sox-Black Sox scandal in 1919. It talks about how the team threw the World Series, the drama behind it, and just kind of what was going on in those players' daily lives. It's a little bit of historical fiction, obviously. It's pretty close to accurate talking about the history of what happened during this scandal. There's also some great actors in it. Charlie Sheen, David Strathairn, Michael Rooker, John Kosak. They all did excellent jobs with their characters. This is just a movie that, like, it was a legitimate good movie. You would go to see this movie not necessarily just as a baseball fan, but someone casual might go see this movie because it's just a good movie with good actors. I like this movie a lot. The story's intriguing. I like the history of baseball and learning more about it. You know, it talks about players like Shoeless Joe Jackson, who were banned from baseball, um, a guy that was so talented, and that story in itself is interesting. So I would encourage you guys to check out this movie. Number three on my list, and most of you would probably not necessarily consider this one as a top five favorite movie. I'm not claiming it as a amazing groundbreaking film. Well, I think it's a good movie. Rookie of the Year, released in 1993. Great film. It's hilarious. You know, it's kind of like dream coming true, 12-year-old getting to play in the big leagues. He breaks his arm, and when it heals, it's like he can throw 100 miles an hour. And as a kid growing up, it's like, 
wanting to make the big leagues and having dreams to play in the MLB, this was like just something you could look towards. Obviously, you wouldn't make the big leagues at 12, but you know, it gives you the drive to keep working and having fun with baseball and keep playing. My brother and I would watch this movie a couple times a summer. But anyways, this is just, you know, it's a good movie. Uh, you've got Gary Busey in the film. Uh, there's some funny, funny guys in this movie. This movie is in my top five mainly because of nostalgia. Yeah, as I said, I'm, it's not going to win you any Academy Awards, uh, but it's a really funny movie. I would encourage you all to go watch it even if you're an adult, just for a laugh. Um, it's a fun time. Moving on to my number two favorite movie is going to be Moneyball. This one was released in 2011. Um, just an excellent film. Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill, Philip Seymour. There's a great lineup of actors in this movie. It's another one of those movies like Amen Out, where it's just a really good film as well. It talks a little bit about baseball history, at that time, it wasn't too long ago. The time that this film was made was in 2011, as I mentioned, and the team that it follows is the 2002 Oakland A's. Anyways, if you guys like baseball history and want to learn more about baseball, you know this movie gives you a little bit of behind the scenes of what it's like to be in a general manager position in the background, in the front office of an MLB team. Obviously, it's somewhat fictional, so everything's not accurate, but it tries to give you a decent picture of what it's like. This movie is just a really good movie, so definitely encourage you guys to check this one out. So moving on, I'm going to talk about my honorable mentions. You know, there's a few movies that didn't quite make the list, um, but I really enjoyed watching them. A League of Their Own, 1992 film with Tom Hanks um, and some other great actresses. Um, it talks about the women's league that was done in the 40s when a lot of the men went off to war and they were still looking to put together baseball teams, create some entertainment. It's a great story. It's a fun movie. Check that one out for sure. The final season, uh, this one, you know, it's not an amazing film, but it's just a fun one. It's kind of about a college baseball team um, in the Midwest. So check that one out, the final season. And then also 42 um, about Jackie Robinson. Great movie. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. The only reason why this one's not really in my top five is because I feel like I kind of already knew the Jackie Robinson story. I've read his uh, the book that came out about him a few years back. Not like I know everything about Jackie Robinson, but I feel like I know his story well enough. For example, a movie like Eight Men Out, I don't know that story as well enough. It's really compelling. And Moneyball, the same thing. We didn't really know about that story as well, and so it's compelling. And so I like movies about baseball stories, even A League of Their Own, for example. That's another baseball history story where it's not necessarily front-page news like Jackie Robinson was and is. Great player, groundbreaking. I like the history stories that kind of bring out the nuances and the sides of baseball that we don't always get to see. On a side note, I would be really interested in a movie about the Negro Leagues or something like that. I think that would be really interesting um, to see, you know, Satchel Paige, Josh Gibson. I don't know if that's something that is possible. I don't know history-wise what they would be able to dig up and what kind of movie they would make, but I think that would be an interesting movie. I would really enjoy that. Not trying to discredit 42 at all. I love the movie. It's just doesn't quite make my top five for this list. Probably would make it top 10, but I just felt like making it top five, so... Uh, there's some other movies that, you know, you guys might expect on this list, but I just not really big on them. Uh, Bull Durham, Field of Dreams, Major League. You know, they're good movies, um, but I just, you know, there's something about it just not as big on these movies. Um, so those didn't make my list. Um, they might make yours. Without further ado, and this one probably is not much of a surprise, the number one movie for me, top five favorite baseball movies of all time, is The Sandlot. Released in 1993, this movie covers the story of kids in a sandlot playing baseball. You got Smalls, you got uh, Benny the Jet Rodriguez, you got Squints, you got so many great characters in this movie. Uh, this movie is just, you know, it's really solid, set in the 60s. It's just a fun ride, honestly. And I doubt that any of you have not seen this one. Uh, if you haven't seen The Sandlot and you're a baseball fan, I'm not really sure 
why you haven't seen this movie. Um, it's just a classic, something you can watch at any time. My brother and I would watch this a couple times a summer. Uh, it's just fun. It's just a fun movie. You know, it's it's a coming of age story, um, and it's it's nostalgic and funny, and it's just a really good movie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my top five favorite baseball movies of all time. Put your top five in the comment section below. Uh, hope, you, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Should have another video coming out next week, probably more related to Mariners content, but. Enjoying making these videos for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Mariners Fanatic, out.